Alright guys, it's Krebs here, we're gonna be playing some World of Tanks today! Getting in some more matches and gonna be showing off different tanks as we do in every single episode. Today I'd like to do some tanks that we've been staying a little bit away from in previous episodes, such as the Type 62. No in particular reason why I was keeping away from it, but I haven't really used it a whole bunch lately, so... I guess it's time! It is time to go ahead and use the Type 62. Hopefully this will be successful. Let's go ahead and get into a battle. How are you guys doing today? Krebsy is doing very fine. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to be uh, turn out this match. Um, type 62, Type 62. How do you play the Type 62? Well, it's a light tank for one. No, you're not going to be like uh, like a Type uh, T50 or T52. You're not going to be speeding around trying to be agile like that and just scouting whatever there is. But, you will be using your agility that you have to try to circle around targets. What I find quite nice in this one is if you can ever find uh, a stray target or two, one or two gremlins, you can always try circling around them and just making laps and uh, penetrating them in their sides. That's always great. By the way guys, this is the match that we're in. We're doing steps and we have a 76% chance of winning. I believe the efficiency ratings, uh, if you take a notice at the stats, have actually been slightly changed. I believe when you try to capture or defend, you don't get as many points, but you get more points for damaging. So you might actually tend to actually lose uh, quite a bit of your rating. And that's what happened with me. I'm down to 1,290! I'm farther away from that higher goal of getting to uh, at least a turquoise color. I really want a turquoise color! Uh, it looks nice. <laughs> and even farther from the elusive purple color. Oh, great. Anyway, so let's go take a look at what's going down. We've got some uh, light tanks heading on up that way. We've got Type 59, KV-1S. So we're in a Tier 8 match at the moment. I'm just going to let the heavies try to do the damage that they need to, and then I'm going to be harassive, okay? I was reading the uh, forums uh, just before I came on, and I always like to do this before casts, or just in general when I'm thinking about doing a video. I like to just uh, troll about on the forums, on the World Tanks forums, and just see what people are up to, what they're talking about. Uh, one of the topics that some people t uh, were up, up on about was, uh, what are your most fearsome tanks to be up against? What tanks do you not like being up against? So since I'm in a tier 8 match right now, and I'm in a tier six, uh, 7 tank, Mm, I don't know, the KV-1S over there is quite a fearsome tank. I know it's like, what, a tier 6? Tier 6? Am I right in saying that? Yeah, tier 6 tank. It's still fearsome because of its derp cannon. Alright, let's take a look if I can shoot someone here and get a kill steal. Oh, uh, well, he definitely doesn't have a derp cannon. Enemy armor is yeah, that was a kill steal. Nothing to be proud of there. I'm just getting 100 uh, damage off. But whenever you're in the same tier as a KV-1S, I think that is a definitely a fearsome tank. Uh, say if you're, it's a tier 6 match and KV-1S is in there with a derp cannon, fearsome indeed. In fact, I would say the whole IS line, up to possibly like IS-3, I haven't taken on. Uh, I haven't gotten to anything higher than IS-3. But anything up until the IS-3, from my knowledge, is quite a fearsome sort of tank to take on because of the derp cannon. Uh, I guess it get, doesn't get so bad later on, because effectively what happens to the IS, it's derp cannon, is it pretty much just stays the same amount of damage uh, up until the uh, closing closing uh, tiers, the highest tiers, but it just increases the reload rate and such, and I believe like the accuracy, so, so yeah. Anyway, let's go take a look at what's going on here, this guy is a bit confused, he doesn't know what to do. There we go, get a shot off on him, and harass, that's what you're supposed to do. There's three of us, or like four of us anyway, come on, we can surely just harass this guy, no? Let's see, oh. Let's start going around, wow, that was a fail much. Ah! I think I just detracted him, not bad shot, for not really aiming. Ah! I thought I'd at least get off another shot, at least. Oh well. Anyway, so, another tank that I would be f afraid to take on, hmm, 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 I mean, Type 59s back in the day, they used to be quite scary, uh, especially in hordes or platoons of them. Uh, back in the day, people used to complain about Type 59 when they went in packs of three, because they were quite rapid tanks, uh, don't get me wrong, they're quite rapid, uh, they could do, dish out quite a lot of damage, and so people were quite afraid of them. We've got an IS-6 over here and also an artillery. Oh, fantastic. 
Uh, and also a gorilla over there in the distance. Maybe I can get off a shot on him before the IS-6 comes this way. Hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> IS-6, uh, hello there! <laughs> hello, my dear man. And you just fired, so it's time to harass you. Harass, harass, harass. Eat, eat it, eat it, eat it. No! Come on! Come on, Krebsy. Every shot matters! Every shot matters! <laughs> Die! Ah! Just dinged right off the side. Yeah, so I think that's what you're supposed to do with the Type 62, just Ross. I'm surprised the T-150 was not helping at all. Like, come on. Come on, the type, the IS-6 needs your help and you're not even helping. Oh! Oh, he's afraid! Oh, look at that! The IS-6 just shot the type T-150! He's just like, you're such a useless teammate! <laughs> oh, no, I can't get a gun depression on this. Hold on, I can... Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm so glad that uh, Rock was right there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me, that would have been bad. That could have been bad very fast. Anyway, let's see if I can hit someone here. Ah! Move! Here we go. Oh, no! Just digging off the side and think somebody's trying to shoot me from the back here. Oh, Christ. I need to move. I'm gonna get shot and killed here, guys. This is Krebsy. This is Krebsy. Signing out. <laughs> Man, that could have been so much better if somebody wasn't shooting me from, like, behind from across the map. Jeez, must have been somewhere over there. Okay, well that was my attempt at doing something. 785 damage. Almost got as much damage as my health. And let's go head on into another tank. To be honest, guys, I was in t uh, tier 7. <laughs> I don't want to say I was uh, useful and useless. At least I played what I did there. But I like to say... Whoever is the highest tier tears in a match they're the ones that have to lead the team to victory okay they have to be di dishing out the most damage they have to be uh, the most successful in that front okay and whenever your team falls apart then you can maybe start looking at your highest tiers and say to them well where were you guys what were you doing and i have a feeling the team sort of probably fell apart there i don't feel like i played horrible at all so let's go take a look at what else is going on uh, I think, what tank should we go for? What tank should we go for? I think we'll try another SPG. In the last uh, replay that we did, or the one before that, I played in the GW Tiger. We'll go for a French Premium, the 105 over here. Let's go for that, eh? See how well we'll do in this. It's basically a rapid fire uh, artillery. No, it doesn't have an auto loader. But, it fires rapidly enough. Alright, so we'll have to see what success we get out of that. Oh, that's another French premium tank right there. Yeah, indeed. Nice stuff. I got camouflage as well. A while ago, I think it was when... Was it over Christmas? It might have been over Christmas. They had uh, camouflages out for 50% off. And I just got camouflages for every single premium tank I had. And every tank that I like playing. Yes, that is a wallet warrior. This thing looks quite weird, doesn't it? It actually looks like it has a face in the front. If you look at the, the gun and those two... <laughs> the uh, French uh, symbol, insignia right there. It actually looks like it has a face, doesn't it? Interesting. KV-1 party. Yeah, there's plenty of KV-1s on the field right now. Anyway, let's head on into the top of here. And then we'll start uh, firing away at the enemies. Can we actually shoot across the map? I don't think I can. Yeah, I actually can, funnily enough. Huh. I suppose tier 4 artillery, probably just getting there. A lot of times when you're trying to shoot across the map in lower tier artillery, you just can't even do it. Surprisingly being able to do it here. Alright, fair enough. Smaller map, maybe. Here we go, and let's start aiming down the middle. Middle, middle, middle. Maybe back off a little bit because this house is slightly in the way. Uh, yeah. That's about right. That should be fine. I should have a good angle to hit elsewhere. Yeah. I have a good angle. Okay, that's cool. 
I'll just stick around here and see what else is gonna happen along the field. So just being complacent, 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 complacent. I suppose it's sort of fun and uh, not fun playing artillery. You can have your own opinions about it. I know a lot of people that hate playing artillery because they just think it's uh, too monotonous. There's uh, it's too much of a a rock a campy playstyle. There's like you're not really just doing anything. You're just waiting for your opponent to come on by. Boom! Right in the kisser. Uh, let's see if I can hit someone else here. Ah, move forward. Move forward. What's going on? What is going on? There we go. Uh, let's go back. Ah! I see what has happened. I see what... <laughs> okay. That's not what I wanted to happen. But, uh, you gotta back off. You can't just, you know, stick around in a place and just... Uh... Oh, ah, he's moving. You can't just stick around in a place because you're always got to be a bit careful of uh, counter artillery. Uh, maybe I can hit this guy here. Yeah. See, you can see the very rapid fire rate. Uh, was that 8.02 seconds? Very rapid enough. Oh no, I just missed him. Yeah. Damn it, he was just a little tiny bit off. Ah! Nah, I can't hit him anymore. Right, let's focus on some targets over here. Yeah, especially these KV1s going up the hill. These are going to be the, uh, the pain of the match. Whenever you're playing artillery, try to go for the vital targets. Ah, fuck, just missed him. Try to go for the vital targets. A lot of times you'll notice that when you're playing artillery, or uh, when you're on a team with other artilleries, oh, god damn it. When you're playing with other artilleries, they'll go for easy kills. Like, they'll just get off the easy guy who has 10 HP left or something like that. Which isn't necessarily the best thing to do. Sure, they have less guns in the field, but then again, you gotta focus on sometimes the high priority targets. Come on. What the heck, man? Less like four, last four shots have just refused to actually strike the enemy. There we go. But only 55 damage. That's nothing. Come on. If this doesn't hit, I'm gonna go. Oh my god! No, oh my. God. I don't. I'm lost for words here. I am actually lost for words. There we go. Uh, just trying to get them in the middle, or at least the majority of the reticle on them. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Come on. Ah! Ah, how I hate you. How I hate you so much. Take that. Oh, god damn it. Where is this our team? Our team has already been th torn apart. Man! Ah. This is why you love hate World of Tanks sometimes, isn't it? Just because sometimes you get put into matches where you absolutely own the enemy team. Other times you get put into matches where you just get owned by the enemy team. And this is uh, what seems to be happening here. Doing some massive damage to this uh, T1 Heavy here. I'm just going to throw off another shot. Here's for luck. No. Krebs, you have no luck today. No heaven for you, Krebs. No heaven for you. Uh, fire... Oh my god! It just goes right over. No luck at all. No luck whatsoever. I don't know what to do, guys. They're all encroaching on us now. A whole bunch of tanks. And we're just gonna get destroyed here. Uh, Vespa's gonna die fast. I'm gonna die fast. Let's see if I can hit some in here. Uh, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't miss. Christ. Right, I'm gonna just go up there. I, I need to do something. I'm not gonna... I mean, this is clearly lost lost for us. I have no idea what happened to this team. We had a 62% chance of winning. Everyone has a horrible efficiency, so... Oh my gosh, I actually just dinged off a shell. How the heck did that happen? That is, that is rare. That is rare indeed. Ah, this guy wants to uh, get me, doesn't he? Well, I guess that somebody else is gonna get me. Krebs is having zero luck. And this is why I hate my World of Tanks life some, sometimes. Alright guys, that's enough for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I want to actually ask you guys, where do you think I went wrong in these games? I'd like some constructive criticism. Not you suck simply because that doesn't really do anything. That's destructive criticism. 
Just let me know where you think I could have gone better in these matches. Maybe some weak spots that I could have aimed more particularly for. Something I could do better in the uh, artillery. I don't know. Just leave them in the comment box below. Until next time, guys. I will catch you all later. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.